up everybody, Sanction Cinema here. I'm gonna I'm doing a little tutorial today on how to make Windows 7 look absolutely awesome. Uh if you don't understand what I'm saying, I mean look like this and like this and all this good stuff. And I think it looks really cool and there's tons of different themes that you can do and it's just a really cool way of making Windows 7 look awesome. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, first things first, uh you're gonna need to choose a theme. Uh, I have three here. I'm using this one here, so I'm just gonna extract it just as uh, an example. And whatever, go away. Alright, so I'll have a link to this right here where you can choose some themes from this guy, or you can always find them on Divine Art. I think if you just, maybe you can find them on Google if you type in Windows 7 themes, things like that. But I'll have a link to this right here in the description. Uh, this guy's got a couple different themes. He's got this one, and he's got the dynamic flag that I'm using. And it's also got a readme telling you how to do it, but I figured I'd just make a video anyway. Um, so basically, what you're going to need to do first and foremost is install all of the fonts. Um, after you install all of them, we can move on to the next step. The next step is going into... Let's see here. And... Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's just going to be another program that you're going to need. It's going to be called... Um, forget but it's in here somewhere it's oh here we go windows theme installer and basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open this and then you're gonna get this right here and you're gonna click this 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 and this you're gonna make sure all that's checked and then you're gonna click browse and you're gonna go to your desktop and you're gonna go to your dynamic black folder and then you're gonna go into theme and then you choose which one of these you want uh, if you want the same one I have I just have regular dynamic black I'm not sure what the AT is but it's there for some reason I'm not sure why so just choose whichever one you want for me I'm going to use this one for the explorer you go back to the um, dynamic black original folder you go to system files RTM uh, here you choose whatever, whatever you have 64 bit or 32 bit I have 64 bit and then you're going to choose explorer and then you're going to choose for explorer frame by DLL um, you're going to choose this right here. It'll be in the same place where the Explorer was. And, oh wait, might as well select it. And then for shell32.il, you're going to choose that one and then open. And then you're going to click install theme. And then it's going to ask you if you want to apply it. You can just click yes. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to restart your computer. After you restart your computer, you'll basically be done. And that's, that's it. And you'll have it installed correctly. Shut up. And everything's done after that. And your Windows will probably have a different background or probably install its own background. Uh, I just put mine back and it'll give you basically everything I have here or depending on what theme you choose, different things. So that's how you do that. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to title this, how, how to change Windows, how to get custom themes on Windows. I don't know. It'll be weird. But it looks really cool and I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and stuff. And if you need a tutorial on something, post it in the comments and I'll see what I can do about making one. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye now.